Good greetings, everyone. Guess who? Rusty Dog. Yeah, second stream of the day. Um, after finishing the previous one, my head started hurting, so I don't know why. Good um, greetings, everyone. Oh, shut up. Guess who? Rusty Dog. Yeah, so I don't know why my head's busting, but it's like, a, I don't know, it's on my ear and everything. Maybe it's something. Yeah, anyway, if I stop, suddenly stop talking during the stream, just somebody call an ambulance. Um, right, so this is Wrench. I was going to do it in VR, but I'm going to try and save my my sanity and my head, so I won't do it in VR. I have tried it in VR very briefly, and it looks <laughs> pretty cool. It looks kind of complex. You've got two very dirty gloves on, and yeah, this, yeah, it looks pretty cool in VR, I have to say. So I'm looking forward to playing that in VR. I'll probably stream that as well as, or just do a video, a separate video on that. Um, but we'll get underway with a new game right now. Um, and it could be when I switch to VR that I'll start a new game again. It, we'll see how this one goes. So what is Wrench? Well, Wrench is a game that I've just discovered. Um, it's a good thing it wasn't made by a UK di distributor, otherwise it would be called Spanner, and that wouldn't quite work out. Um, so. This came out apparently in December 2018, which means I wasn't aware of it. So it's kind of similar to Car Mechanic Simulator, but in VR. And Car Mechanic Simulator is going to have a VR version of its own at some point. Um, but this was only £15 on Steam. It's got some really good ratings. So let's dive in with a new game. I will warn you right now before we get into this that the voice of the woman talking to you is synthesized. So it's it's going to be like that. Uh yes. <laughs> oh sorry Stephen. Yes, so um get ready for that. Uh if you uh, what? Oh if you smell toast you're in trouble, yeah. Uh, right, let's have a look. Angry, who's on? Angry Citizen, Matthew Sharp. Hi, hi guys. Steve Zodiac. Um, and India Calva. Greetings, India. And Joker, Joker Man. Uh, <laughs> the 10mm socket. Oh, the most famous one, isn't it? Uh, right, let's get into it. I got this for the one reason, for one reason. This tutorial will help you get And that's because of VR. Tablet. Hold on. Tablet primarily with the mouse. Press OK to continue. See, now this tablet thing is floating in front of your face in VR, and you have to grab it with your dirty glove and move it to the side, and it keeps popping back in to the screen in front of you, and it's really annoying. Um, but apparently you start off as a junior apprentice, so all they're going to let me do is probably change tyre pressures and do some fluids, and that's about it. <laughs> uh, really, India? But it's, it's easy. No? I don't know. All right. Uh, Jayesh. Hey, Jayesh. Oh, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens about busting knuckles. You have been sent a notification. Notifications alert. Let's get through this. this. Is still in early so this is the roadmap. This is the roadmap for the game, but I've got a feeling that the fall winter future is the fall and winter we've just had. I guess. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe I don't know if this is the fall and winter and future coming up. Because if so, that means winter 2020. And then beyond that is we have to wait until we get mod support and engine and suspension tuning. I thought that would have come very early on, unless unless they just literally mean tuning. I mean, you can obviously install stuff, right? Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna press the home. Press the shop icon to load the shop. Icon. One thing I will say as well is that in VR, this writing in here, is really blurry. I mean, if you put your head close to the tablet, you can make it out, um, but it's not sharp text at all, so that needs to be worked on. The shop app is used to track your experience and load new cars when they are unlocked. 
The bar at the top of the shop app shows your current XP and how much XP is needed <laughs> to unlock the next Yeah, level. the more XP, the more tasks it'll let you, let you do. You, I think you probably have to reach a certain XP before they'll even let you touch a wheel nut. Let's see. Learn more about the shop app and this career mode by clicking the help button. Learn more about each app here. New players should refer to the fluid change guide for help on level 1 maintenance tasks. Press the home button to return to the home screen. So new players should refer to the fluid change. That's all they're going to let me do. Change the oil and uh, <laughs> change the oil and get the tire pressures right. And it's weird because tire pressures, you know, you, they're kind of crucial. And if I'm on your junior app, do you really want me working on those? A junior app. A junior, yeah, a junior app, like a junior apprentice. New players should refer to the fluid change guide for help on level one maintenance tasks. This is stuff I do with my eyes shut on my real car. And now they're not even <laughs> gonna, I need to do a guide for it. But anyway, this should be fun. It should be fun, right. Open the car details app. Okay. The car details app is a logbook view of all of the wear items on the car. The wear bars indicate age. <laughs> As parts pass their age midpoint, they enter deferred maintenance and have an increasing chance to fail. Uh -huh. Parts may also fail as a result of damage from racing incidents. Player serviced parts earn XP for every race hour they are run on the car. Wait till you see the car. <laughs> the full part list is very long. Filter parts by age or by part level. Players are only responsible for servicing parts of their the level or lower. Oh, wow. So, yeah, depending on my level of skill, um, I'm only allowed to touch certain parts of the car. It kind of makes sense, but why would you, if it's a race car, why would you employ somebody that you only trust to change the fluids? You know, I mean, what was on his, what was on his uh, CV or his, what's the CV? What do they call it in America? CV? Resume. Yeah, I mean, he's got to have a decent background before he even gets employed, surely. Use this button to send the cars out to be driven. Renting or racing the cars puts race hours onto the parts. Oh, my God. The car must be removed from the lift in order to rent or... <laughs> no, really! You have to take the car off the lift in order to race it. Damn. And here's me thinking... The test car button will generate a symptom report. This is a useful tool for diagnosing what is broken <laughs> on the car. The car must be removed from the lift in order to test for symptoms. Yeah, you don't necessarily have to, but I guess in your, what, your Press world. Press the back button to return to the previous app. The back button history will always stop at the home screen. Okay. Open the tutorial app. Here we go. I know when I was doing this in VR, just in between streams, um, the first task I had to do was so cool, right? <laughs> yeah, hopefully we're going to see it now. I'm sure we will. Um, it was pretty cool. It was cool in terms of being funny. Um, and I had to do it in VR, and I was already, I've even got my VR controllers charging right now. Um, I was really looking forward to doing it in VR, but then my head was telling me, no, don't. Yeah, blinker fluid, I've heard that one, Matt. That's a, it is a good one. Um, oh, you're a mechanic of 30 years. Good. If you're in the UK, I'll be coming to see you then. <laughs> you can do some jobs for me. Are you in the UK? I might have a job lined up for you then if you want one. Um, it's fairly large on my car. Anyway, right, tutorials. Launch the workbench tutorial to learn about mechanical... This is it. And wrench ...and build your workbench. Before you get started, you have to build your own workbench. And I mean, take it out of the flat pack and screw it all together. <laughs> That's how basic this is going to get. So let's see how this looks compared to the VR version. Because I don't know what the keys are or anything here. Build your workbench, fastening tools, engine build, short block rotating parts, installing the oil pan, head timing and oil. 
Oh, okay, these are tutorials. Begin so the card disappears. The workbench parts. Locate the workbench top, brackets, and the eight M8 bolts. Find the eight threaded inserts on the underside of the workbench. Eight M8 Place bolts. Place brackets over threaded holes and insert the supplied M8 bolts into each location. So, right what? Clicking parts opens a context menu that provides installation help. Inspection information is visible in the Inspect app. Yeah, okay. Now this is great because in VR, look at that. That looks tiny to me. It looks like I'm about nine foot tall. In VR though, the car was here and you could raise the lift and walk underneath the car, look around, inspect all the parts. It was really cool in VR. Seriously good. And then again in VR, you could just grab. And people, yeah, you could grab here and you could look at this. What kind of technology is this? And you can move move it about. Uh, now hold on. Yeah, I could grab. There it is. And you can <laughs> you can move these things around. Anyway, I've messed that up. That looks like is that an oscilloscope or something? I don't know what that. Oh, it's a helper bot. Okay, and. Yeah, I have no idea what that is. I don't want to go near it. So this is, I guess, my... <laughs> this is off, like... This is off um, Windows... Uh, sorry, Word. Yeah, and all... Uh, uh, like your you know, spell checker guy or whatever. I don't know. So yeah, I had to do this in VR. So we grab this. Literally take the box off. I'm just going to throw it over here. And now I've got to build. Imagine doing this in virtual reality. This is really good. So, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing here. I've got a foot there. And another one which has got to go, I guess, there. Uh, right. Context menu. Sprint crouch. Part details. Auto fasten. Pocket. Pocket. Small parts. Small parts. Magnet. Where's my magnet? How do I... How do I... Oh, my torque wrench. Where'd that come from? Okay. Oh, my God. This is... Honestly... This is like... This is going to be harder, isn't it? This is going to be harder in real life. Uh, harder harder than in real life. I have a torque wrench there. I don't think I'm going to require that for this, though. And this is looks like unable to apply paint. All different. Okay. How do I just have, like, nothing in my hand? Because I can't grab holster. Okay. So let's just, just just get all the parts out the box. In fact, let's get the polished iron crap out the way. Let's move that over here as well. This is that didn't sound like polished iron. <laughs> now we got some real floaty stuff. Uh oh my god, I've actually got to build this before I even get started. Honestly, imagine, imagine me doing this in virtual reality, though. Right, so I figure this, uh, this bit goes into the two feet. These are the two uprights. That probably clamps it to the wood. Uh, I mean, what do I know? Right, so I guess I'm building it upside down, and then um, I'll turn it over at the end. 
So that'll go there. This uh, obviously goes there. So now I need eight bolts and the rest of the stuff looks like it just clips in. Oh, sugar, I've dropped it. Where the hell's that gone? Oh, great. I lost a bolt. Brilliant. Well done. Where's my magnet? Oh, it got it. Did it? Yeah, it's in my pocket now. All right. So if I unpock it. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to use this, I guess, because I'm too lazy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. It's just so silly. Right. Don't leave go of the bolt, Rusty, because you'll drop it. Let me just get them all in. I should have I should have brought the uh the top of the table a bit closer. This is ridiculous. I can't believe I lost a bolt. Just like real life, hey eh, guys. I hope we do get round to looking at a car today. It looks like, well, it's, I don't know what make this, this but I'm going to say it's like Ryobi, uh, Ryobi, is it something like that? Ryobi. Right, uh, let's get the other one on. Sorry, this I just find this amusing. Um, dropping a bolt and having to get a magnet to retrieve it. I mean, not even car simulator does that. Oh, God. Why did I put the bottom of the table? Let me bring it a bit closer, because I'm having to go so far. That's better. Now that makes life a bit easier. The hell was that? Select the ratchet or impact tool by cycling the one key. With the tool selected, hover over each placed bolt and press E or click the left mouse button. You can manually swing a ratchet by moving the mouse or press R to activate the power function. The mouse scroll wheel changes the tool between tighten and loosen directions. The Q key will holster your tool. Tighten all eight bolts to advance to the next step. Oh, yeah, okay, so she's rattling on because I've just put the bolts in. I've already got ahead of that, love. I'm, I'm fine. I worked all that out. Locate the leg and foot parts. Slide a leg into each bracket, then a foot onto <laughs> each leg. Dispose of polystyrene in an ecologically... <laughs> so minor. Yeah, I mean, I love it. Right, so the next bit is going to have to be... Oh, we have to holster this. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. that go in there? I can't see... I uh, maybe it's a cross brace. I maybe should have. There we go. It rotated on its own, by the way. As soon as I had it near. And then this will go there. Okay. They're kind of fitting themselves in, really. Okay, there we go. Ah. Uh. Uh. 
Now what? How do I... Guys, how do I get it the right way around? Oh, here we go. Middle mouse drag. Oh god, this is so complex. I've got to pick it up and then use the middle mouse as well as the left mouse to drag. What's in the way? This? How did the hell did I drop this? Right, so pick up, left mouse. Let's see if we can rotate it this way. I need to be higher. Pick up from the bottom, perhaps. Oh my god. Come on. God. Now where are we gonna where are we gonna put this thing? Is there a place it has to go? It's not there because this is the um Disposal. Oh, disposal. La da dee. Da da dum. That's a portal to another universe. Got to get rid of the junk. Okay, I can't pick this up. So here's the car, which is some weird hybrid of a Mazda MX-5 with a BMW Z4 having a baby with... Look at the gap, the arch gap. Oh, Lotus, Lotus Elise kind of looking rear end. I don't know. Uh, I don't know what my next task is, but how did I, oh, fastening tools, fastening tools. There are two types of fastening tools in wrench, smart ratchets and an impact trench. Smart ratchets come in three sizes, tool length reflects leverage. <laughs> Use large tools for large bolts and small tools for small bolts. Fasteners can break when severely <laughs> over torque. No, really? Using an oversized tool will make it easier to accidentally break a bolt. As you tighten the fastener, the indicator circle will change color. This acts as a secondary indicator of bolt tension. The impact tool is mostly intended for part removal. This is a high power impact and it will quickly break many fasteners when used for installation. Use caution. We're going to break some stuff, guys. Okay. Now what? Second stream of the day. Um, uh, yeah, now what? Oh, here. Am I crouched? Oh, you've got full crouch and stand any height. Do, 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 do. Okay, all pan bolt, uninstalled. Torque, zero newton meters. Okay, the target, 10 newton meters plus or minus 20%. Valve cover bolt, seven and a half. That's pretty accurate, because on my on my BMW, the valve cover bolts are seven newton meters. 
Okay, impressed. Cam gear bolt, 55 newton meter. Right, what am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to put these bolts in? Oh, this is like a test block thing, is it? Okay, so the oil pan bolt, the valve cover bolt, the crank bolt, and the cam gear bolt. We've got them all here. And I'm supposed to know which one's which. <laughs> well, I know the oil pan. Wait a minute, hold on. What's this here for? Decoration? Hmm. Uh, go on. No, I don't know which bolt that is. I'm guessing... This first bolt, this one, that can't be the oil pan bolt. It, it, the oil pan bolt looks like this thing. But it, that's a, oh, it tells you crank bolt, oil pan bolt. Wow, okay. So the crank bolt, we need it torqued up to 160 Newton meters. Um, I don't know. I guess this one then. Oh, we can have an extension on it as well. Oh, it ends. What's this? Oh, that's it. One six four. Which is fine. That's it. We're in. We are within tolerances there, but I can't adjust the setting on it. Oh, okay. We'll try and get it. Got a holster, my tool. And that one is the uh, the valve cover bolt, I would imagine, is it? M10. Oh, come on. What's the torque tolerance is seven? Use this little thing. I can't see. We crouch down. That's the cam one, is it? Yeah, it is cam. So fifty five Newton meters on this one. So It will take 20%. Well, yep, I'll do this one then. And now we have the valve cover bolt, which is seven and a half Newton meters. So I'll need the little fella. Oh, I went right past it. There we go. Ooh. I can't see what's on that board. I think I've already uh, messed this up. Stop it! Mouse wheel up, down. There we go. I think I've... Okay, it says topped correctly. I did over-talk it, though, but... 
Okay, it's only a game. And this is to 10 Newton meters. Get in there. Yeah. I've left my body. What was it again? 10. And to loosen and loosen was mouse wheel. Ten point one. Now what? The object sitting on the workbench in front of you is a fastener demonstration. Slide each of the four bolts into the core. Done it. Smart ratchets function as a three in one tool. A ratcheting socket wrench, an electric nut runner, and a torque wrench. Flicking the mouse wheel will toggle tighten and loosen direction. Left and right arrow keys adjust the torque wrench set point. Electric the nut small runner. Screen on the tool displays the torque wrench set Wouldn't point. Wouldn't want that dummy trousers. Press R to operate the electric. The electric nut runner on the ratchet provides 75 newton meters of torque in the reverse direction. This is enough to remove many small bolts. Break larger fasteners free by hand and then use the nut runner to quickly remove them. The impact tool is the fastest way to remove large fasteners. The impact wrench can be switched between high and low power modes with the left and right arrows. The high power mode provides approximately 300 newton meters of peak torque and the low power mode provides 150 newton meters. The tool also displays the torque of the most recent impact strike. Remove all four bolts to complete the tutorial. When I switched it didn't remember the setting. Adjust talk mode left right. Done. You may exit the tutorial by pressing the exit tutorial button or from the tutorials app on the tablet. You mean complete tutorial. Okay. Right, I've had my nuts tightened, now what? Warning, you may want to quit without saving. Okay, that's going to blow up the whole damn place. Got no tools in here. Right, where's my pad? What next? When can we start working on a car anyway? Engine build. Okay, let's go for that one. Prepare the block for the crankshaft. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> oil squirters and block side bearings. Do not forget the two thrust bearings. When these parts are installed, Crap. lower the crankshaft into the block. <laughs> We're going to be here a while, guys. Bearing caps and then slide them into place. Install the main bearing cap bolts to finish this assembly phase. Guys, uh, I think I'm going to say goodbye now. Um. <laughs> oh my god. Pistons and bloody crankshafts and bolts and big end bearing shells, aren't they? I think, I don't know, I'm not a mechanic. Are they, are they bearing shells? I don't know. Engine block. Things that I don't know what they are, but they look like tadpoles. A gasket for... 
A housing on something. I don't know what it is. Right. I wasn't listening to her, so prepare the block for the for the crankshaft. Okay. Begin by installing the oil squirters. Oh, okay. That must be these things then. Oh, it says it. Look, oil squirter. And main bearings. Yes. Main bearing caps. Okay. To install. Do not forget the two thrust bearings. Begin by installing the oil squirters and block side bearings. Do not forget the two thrust bearings. When these parts are installed, lower the crankshaft into the block. Install bearings into main bearing caps and then slide them into place. Install the main bearing cap bolts to finish the assembly phase. This is crazy. Oh my God. <laughs> Thanks, high kicker. <laughs> oh my God. Right. We can do this, can't we guys? Yeah. <clears throat> Not just installing everything in the right place, but it's, it's, I don't even have a clue where the old squirters go. It's not just that though, it's tightening them all down. Ah, uh, I was just waiting for it to um, put itself in somewhere. So if there's an old squirter on there, is there one? Okay, there's one for each cylinder, makes sense. And then these are the bolts to tighten those down. Oil squirter bolt. And what is the torque on these, love? Oil squirter bolt. Show uninstalled dependencies, show install locations. Oh, it's showing me on the thing, look. I don't want to know that though. I, I want to know. I want to know what the torque setting on that's going to be. I know where they go. Did that just fasten in on its own? No, it didn't. We can put it in place. And I'm going to need, oh crap, I'm going to need my extension on this one. I hope I've built this table okay. Uh, ah. Good, good on you, Matthew. Um, but what's the talk? How do we find out? Or do we just do we just go for the Titan? Yeah, I think we just go for the Titan because. We'll know the torque when it goes green, right? It's already green, now what? Okay, I guess I just tighten them down. Yeah, it is. My engine's going to fall to pieces. It's showing green, so that's going to be enough for me. Not you, get in. That's going to have to do. Uh, okay, so now... All squirters and block side bearings. Do not forget the two thrust bearings. Oh, sugar. Now, which goes in first? Uh, 
Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh. I'm lost now. Right, those I I knew where they went. That was for sure. And I think I might have missed one. Okay. Does this fit in? No idea where it goes. I think it's got to go. I think doesn't it go in after the after crankshaft? Aha! Said the blind man. Wait a minute. Just just those two? It's just those two. How come how come all of that? Oh okay. Well they all have one. What do I know? Oh flip. I just smashed everything off the table. Oh, do what a mess. Right, crank the crank um the crankshaft goes in and then these go on top. Has to be. I can't pick this thing up. The hell did I drop? I'm gonna need one of those now. No, I'm not. Get the hell out of there. They go in there first. And then this one. Right, so they're done. Now I've got one here. You need to go in there. I've got a part missing. There it is. Okay. So now you guys can go in there. Because I'm a bad guy. Right. One there. And finally... Oh, it looks like I have a choice. And that's got the little shell thing on, hasn't it? I hope so. Right, now we've got to bolt it all down. <clears throat> do you know what you should do, Matthew? Go build an engine. Go and do one. That would be cool. Yeah. The thrust washer's stuck back on. Find a car with a duffed up engine and go and build the damn thing. If you've got the ability to do something like that, that'd be it's so cool to do those things, I think. Costly though. Oh dear.
Uh, where did the bolt go? There it is. I was waiting to use my f force magnet given to me by Darth Vader when I completed my training. Where is it? Oh god, I've magnetized everything into my pocket. I magnetize it all into my pocket, guys. Jesus. So I've got I've got a magnetic pocket of resistance. Right. Uh one more. Get those tightened down. I had a tidy workbench when I started. The main bearing What's this one doing? The instructions on the installation details page of the inspector. Right, look at this. These are critical fasteners. It's a bolt that's going nuts. The front main seal. Let's get these bolts tightened down. Now these are going to be fairly hefty. I'm going to say that they're beyond 55 uh, newton meters of torque. So, if I can remember how to do it, this guy. Go on, go on, give it another one. No? Oh, why are you doing that? Because my torque wrench goes over there. Okay, happy with that. Give it a couple of turns. Seems to seems to be enough in the green for that. Yeah, just because it just starts turning to yellow. Which is exactly where we want it. Now to get these pistons in, I'm going to have to turn the engine over. Uh, where's the rod? Okay, the rods are here. Wait a minute. The rods go on the... Guys, the rod... These go on the crankshaft, don't they? Oh, Jesus. Don't the pistons have to go in first? Tighten the main bearing bolts. Well, it says assemble pistons down there. Install pistons into engine. This hole here, isn't that where the crankshaft goes through? I, if I've already put the crankshaft in, What am I missing here? Okay. Tighten main bearing cap bolts. Why isn't that ticked? Oh, that's overdone now. I haven't missed any bolts, right? Stop, 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 stop. Oh, that's just great, isn't it? Right, hmm. Yeah, piston goes in from the other side, that's right. You need to put the main seal in now. Um, and I haven't got a clue where that goes.
Oh god, two screws jumped away there. Hey. Hang on. Does the rear seal you know, I mean you have to forgive my ignorance, I'm not a mechanic. Does the rear seal mean it goes on the rear part here? Or literally on the rear of the engine? That goes in there. Okay, alright, I see. You want me to put this whole thing in? There you go, fair enough. Go, oh, you'll have your turn. Be patient. Ugh. I need two more of those. There they are. With a life of their own. Because they're screwing around. And this one. I'm dying to use that little impacty thing. I want to see how the how that uh, rod is going to go into the engine. I'm really dying to see how that happens. Oops, gasket. No, yeah, gasket first. Is that going to go in now? Wait a minute. I've got a I've got a torque wrench stuck in an engine. Oil pump. Oil pump gasket. Do I have to orient this thing? Hey, Grey Holland! You can put the big hands on with the cam in place. Okay. Oh no, it's not. It says tighten the main bearing cap bolts. Pretty sure I've I've done those, but. Hmm. Sure what I've done wrong here. Tighten the main bearing cap bolts. It's not letting me I'm <sighs> I'm sure they're all tightened to within The tolerances. L is five. Oh, is that an okay? I don't know what scale that thing's on. So it's either an old catcher or it's a magnetic bowl for catching the bolts. A bit big though. Yeah, it's got to do with the oil. Right. Holster this. Crankshaft. Is it over tightened? Is it under tightened? This one. Go with this. Stop, stop. It does it on its own and I can't stop the damn thing. I'm just looking at where all the bees are. That one. Oh, God. Have you played this before, Gray? Check install info sheet. I don't even know how to do that. So... Have a look. 
Nothing on that one. Oh, God. Oh, of course. I didn't tighten them in the right order. You have to work from the middle outwards. And you do the same with the valve cover, and I should know that because I did that with mine a few weeks ago. Tighten to a final torque of 57 newton meters. Yes, son of a, son of a, son of a. <sighs> Get the hell out of my face. Well, it's too late now. I've tightened them in the wrong order. <laughs> I mean, for God's sake. I like the fact that it's that detailed, though. It's really cool. Because be the good thing about it being this detailed and me realizing that I've got that in the wrong order, if I ever... I never will. But if I ever rebuild an engine, it's never going to happen. You know, it's it's informative, and I'll remember. Oh yeah, you've got to do these in a sequ in a certain sequence from the. Uh... So these are all the bolts. Okay. So we can pop them in. No problem there, we can pop them in. We just have to tighten them up in the right order. Now, I know they numbered them, but I'm guessing in real life, if I want to go one, two, instead of one, two, as long as I start from the middle and work outwards. God, fundamentals. If you're a mechanic, at least. Yes, so that's why it wasn't ticking. So 57 Newton meters um, and the problem is when I'm talking up though, it's from what I can see, it's not telling me, excuse me, it's not telling me, oh, adjust the torque limit. Oh, you can do it. Well, damn, you can do it. Okay. I, I wasn't sure you could do it. Boom, done. Ah, I didn't know you could set the limit like that. I thought, you know, that's what, how torque wrenches work. There you go. There's your little click. Perfect. Oh no, you're doing them in the wrong order again, Rusty, you dopey ass. Get it out. Loosen. Come on. Don't make me get the Ryobi out. Bloody hell. When are you ever going to learn? Put your thing away. Right, now can we do this in the right order? Please. So, let's tap. So, we want to go from the... F okay, from the... F uh, from the front, we want right... Okay, yeah. So, well, this is the back, right? So this is the front. Duh. Right, so with the front looking that way, we have to go from where I'm standing, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So it's middle, up, down, up, down, going from right to left. Okay, fine. <sighs> Bang, that lovely, satisfying click at the end of a torque wrench. 
I love it. Oh, when I was tightening up my valve cover, when I changed my uh, changed my Vanos seals on my car, that I loved that reassuring click. It was just like, it's like that click tells you, yep, you nailed it. <laughs> oh, I love that sound. <laughs> I bought a torque wrench just for that job. And I ended up using somebody else's. Funny that, isn't it? Which they didn't have, so they had to buy one. <laughs> Mind you, can you imagine a mechanic that didn't have a torque wrench? Well, he did have a torque wrench. He just didn't have one for the tolerances I needed. He had a big one, a bigger one. Oh, lovely. One of the most satisfying noises in the world, that last. Boom! Install the rear main seal holder, oil pump, rear main seal, and front main seal. I'm learning. Okay, this is more detailed than car mechanic simulator, I'll tell you that. Oil, oil pump and rear main seal. Okay. Well. Uh, okay, well, I've. Up the rear main seal. So we've got to get this on. So let's get the... <laughs> I love how you can just throw it onto the floor. I mean... It's a gasket, for God's sake. It's completely the wrong way around now. Why won't you just go on? Oh, do you want me to put it onto the onto this? Is this what you want? I can do that. I'm I'm easy. You want, oh, you want to do it that way? Okay. I was going to put it on the engine and then put the bloody part on, but fine. Let's do it your way. Right. Get the old bolts in, and then. We've got some fun because I must be wearing one of those um, head flashlight things. Oh, shit. Um, I need to stretch over here. Where's the other holes? Crouch down. Talking Now we're on the subject of engines, and I may have mentioned this in the past. What am I missing? Um, if any of you guys are petrol heads in any way, and you haven't yet, go and see, I'm missing from here, go and see Ford versus Ferrari, if you haven't seen it already, it's really good, and Christian Bale is just ridiculously good in this film, I mean, I don't know what to say. Uh, okay. So, should I have clicked on... How do I get my light out? That sticky one. That stick. Yeah, this one. I can't see where it goes. So pull the pistons onto the connecting rods. Do not install the connecting rod caps. Wouldn't you rather have me tighten these up? It's not telling me the torque on this one though. I guess it doesn't matter on these, does it? So let's get let's get Ryobi, Obi One Ryobi out, and it's we we are using the mouse wheel to do this. Oh, I bust it! Shh! <laughs> oh, I got a new one. This is ridiculous. I broke the bolt. 
I'm having to peel the tape off. <laughs> this is this is like Amazon. They send you a huge box. Uh, right, never mind. Just where's my notification? Yeah, I know. I I I know. You broke a bolt. A replacement has been ordered for you. I love it. I love these little things. It's brilliant. Right. Where did that bolt go? The hell are you doing over there? Yeah, magnetize. At least it's in my pocket now. <laughs> so it's a certain... Right, it's a certain torque setting then. You want to stand up? You get... You get... <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it, guys. Brilliant. Um, right, let's got a new bolt in there. I love that this big package came, and I had to, I had to actually peel the, the 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 packing tape off, and this tiny little bolt came out. That was ridiculous. Um, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Here we go. Okay. Tighten all six oil pump bolts to 22 newton meters, plus or minus 20%. Okay, so anywhere, obviously 20% is 4.4 newton meters. So 26 you can go to, but I'll, I'll stick with the 22. Install the gasket onto the pump before installing it. Yeah, okay. And I like the the diagrams as well. It's kind of like Haynes manuals and stuff like that. Very, it's very good. It's quite detailed. Um, it is very detailed actually. Right. So what? Oh shit! What was it? Twenty two, twenty two newton meters, wasn't it? Right. Let's get the old wrenchy out. I don't know what the range is on this one. Let's have a look. There we go, 22 newton meters. <laughs> I used an impact wrench. <laughs> I used an impact wrench and... Whoa. Oh, so it has to go all the way to the red to get the final torque. Oh, I thought it was just at the end of the green. Okay. Well, there might be some, some bolts inside then that are not quite done up properly. This one hasn't quite got the satisfying click. Okay, we're done with this block for a little while. Because um, now we've got to go and assemble the pistons. Okay. Oh, I see. It's, I thought that went through. Of course it isn't. It's this one. Yes, 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 yes. I get it. Of course. Yeah, I've, I've remembered. Yeah, I didn't think it was a torque-tolerant part, but it was grey. Um, okay, so we got the three piston rings. With oil. There'll be an oil ring, which is that one, an intermediate, and compression. I only knew about the oil ring. I can't remember the names of the other ones. So we can assemble those, put the rings on each one. This is the only time most petrol heads will ever put a ring on anything. Uh, see if we can do it from here. I'll just I'll just walk through the table. These is just like a these are just tutorials, guys. We're not even in the actual game yet. Like where we're there's an entire damn car to 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 build and maintain the whole car, suspension, everything. 
I don't know quite how much is in the game. Oh, where do those clips go? Uh, I think, well, they're obviously retainer clips and they probably go. Okay, put this, put this in there now, or do we have to wait until this guy goes in? What do I know? See, that's not going to go in now because. It doesn't make sense. You have to take the other part out yet, Turkey. Uh, how many how many of these clips have we got? Just four. I see three. Four. Oh, okay. So there's two per. Unless I'm missing one. One there. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. So two. Well, they've got to hold this in. Why? Oh, okay. Let me take the piston head to that. There you go. It's very fussy. Oops. You have to watch when you touch a part. But it doesn't teleport itself. Yeah, that you it has you have to make sure it's got the you'll have the name of the part underneath and then you'll know you can pick it up. Okay. I don't know about piston. Get pissed off. Right. I'm not happy with the pistons going through the through the uh, table. I mean, I did order a soft wood, but this is ridiculous. And oh, right now I've got to dig out. Okay. Oh, please tell me they go in there. Now, to put the one on the other side, do I literally have to rotate this thing around? Or is it going to let me do it on the sly? I can't grab anything. Um, yeah, and then the, and then these shells go in and then it's the rod cap and then the bolts go in. Fairly simple. I can't pick up. Okay, there we go. Now that's got a pin in. I want to see if I can put the other one in. <laughs> it's going to dip from under the table. Um... I think it's going to make me rotate the piston, which is unfortunate because it's going to be difficult to do that. <sighs> Jesus. Honestly. You've got to love it, though. You've got to love it. Yay. It's good, though, isn't it, guys? It's good. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're slightly interested in this uh, uh, if for nothing else than from a learning standpoint okay we're gonna have to magnetize these into my pocket i'm gonna hoover them all up have i got them all yes i have i had to hoover them all up into my pocket because there was no way otherwise uh, so this one's done so we'll just lay that one over there Next, I'm going to get this little guy, and we'll just unpocket one of the pins, jam it in, and pocket another one, jam that in, another pocket, another one, and jam that in. Right? Aren't pockets handy? You don't you don't have pockets in uh, Car Mechanic Simulator. Just twist that around. 
Same with this one. Pick it up, lift it up, middle mouse and pull back. And drop. And then this guy. All right. It's not going to work. All right, so unpocket the clip, put it in, unpocket the clip, put it in, unpocket the clip, put it in. Lovely, 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 lovely. Now, how on earth? You can't, are you, you can't be asking me to assemble the bottom parts of those pistons, because then it won't go on the crankshaft at all. Not physically. It may in the game. I don't know. Oh, it's we're done. Okay. Slide the piston and rod assembly into go. the block from above. A yeah. Piston ring <coughs> and then you come underneath again cylinder. and you install the rod caps and tighten the rod yeah. nuts with precision. The rod nuts are the most important fastener in the engine. Okay. Um, yes, because this bit I remember from Car Mechanic Simulator. Taking the pistons out with those. So we need engine blocks. So we click that, lift it up high, click the mouse and drag. Keep go of the middle button and place the engine down on the table. <laughs> Can you bring it back a little bit, please? Just a little bit more towards the edge, maybe. Don't make me get my magnet. It's going to fall. It's going to fall. Grab hold of it. Ugh. God. Right. Pistons. Yeah. Oh, stop. You're knocking it out of the way there. The firing order is... No, we won't even come to that yet. Right. <coughs> They'll probably make me take my own life into my hands and test this engine. And it will all fall to pieces before my very eyes. Okay. So, engine pickup and uh, pickup, rotate. Oh, it's difficult. I can't seem to do it. <sighs> Man, this is a this is a heavy engine. Right. Let's try again. I can't seem to. <laughs> Come on. Up. Press. Drag. Leave go. And place gently on table. Maybe over where the piston bits are. All right, that's a bit too close. Let's drag it, drag it this way. Don't you throw my piston bits off the table. Right, so we're gonna get this shell into the, oh, it just kind of fell in and then it fell over there. So we'll put these bits in. And now, we get each one of these rod caps and place them there. There we go. Oh God, I was wondering whether it would need me to turn the crankshaft around, but that'll be interesting. But it looks like not. No, all goes in nicely. So now what I'm going to do, guys, because it's quicker, is I'm going to hoover all the nuts up, right? Because then I can just come to the engine and I can unpocket each one. That's faster. And then finally, the last two. I'll go around here for this one so I can see what I'm doing. Now then, if we hold where it says connecting rod cap nut at the bottom, press E, 
<clears throat> Talk in three stages. Wow, okay, I didn't know you had to do that. I s Although I say that, I've got a vague memory now, and it shows you how to assemble it, of a mechanic friend of mine who, who mentioned about tightening them to three different stages. Talk both nuts to 15, then 35, before a final pass. So we'll do them all at 15 first, and then we'll do them all at 35, and then all at 50, yeah? So I may need, so 15, 35, 50, I might need um, two different uh, torque wrenches for this. Let's see, this one, 15, what was it, 15? <laughs> I've forgotten. Oh, useless. Right, uh, that one will do. Okay, so let's go nuts. 15, 35, 50. Okay, it's dead easy. 15, 35, 50. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong. Right, talking up to 15 first then. And here we go. Oh, yes. Spot the spelling error. Um, I hope it's not loose and loosen and lose and lose because I hate that. Okay, obviously there's no, you don't have to do from the middle outwards on these, obviously, because they're all separate. Well, what looked like a mass of parts on a table has come together quite well. It looked a little bit daunting to me at first, I have to admit, but now... Okay, so the next torque setting is 35. I don't think this goes up this far. No, that goes up to 30. So we need to get the next one out. <laughs> let's get the IOB thing on it. Right, 35. Okay, again, let's start from the beginning. Oh, that's a lovely click. Oh, yeah. You want ASMR sounds? The end of a torque ratchet click. Do you know what? It'd be nice to have a clock for a mechanic and the sound of the clock ticking is that torque sound when you just get the torque setting right. Now that would be cool. And this goes up all the way up to 50 as well. Did I do all of them? Yeah, I did. Yeah. Didn't I? Yeah. Struggling this one. What have I done wrong? Oh, talking. I must have done. Have I? Did I miss one out, guys? Because it hasn't completed. Did I? Did I miss one out on the thirty fives? Shut up. Install pistons into engine. Right, how do I find out what the hell I've done wrong?
Do I have to undo them all again? Everything's in the right order. There's no parts missing. They've all gone in. So it has to be. I didn't get my nuts right. So, talking at 15 then, going all the way through again. Uh, well, that was bizarre. And that's bizarre as well. I'm having to materialize the nuts away from the engine so it, that the power of the nut doesn't blow the engine off the table. No, we're trying to rotate. There we go. All right. So, talking at... Fifteen. Lovely. Hmm. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, I can try all three. I'm there. I'm not sure what the minimum of the big one is, but we will try it. Okay, so switching to uh, the next torque wrench. If I can. And we want to get that down to 35. And Let's take the extension off because we don't really need it. And let's tighten these down to 35. So, get this one, please. Do it again. There we go. And again. That's it. Uh, it's not that I don't trust you, I just don't trust you. Again, there we go. Oh. Every night at half past ten, my phone goes crazy. Right, let's switch to uh, the big guy. I don't think this will go down to 50, but it might. No, 90 is the minimum on that one, so we can't use that one. Uh, so this one has to go to a torque setting of 50 now. Yep. And let's crank them. Do it again again 
And again. Okay. I don't like it when it makes those weird noises. It's like it hasn't just hasn't quite finished that final. Right, I want to hear a sound when I've done this last one. That's ridiculous. Well, I'm just going to have to skip it then. As far as I'm concerned, this is done. And if I have messed up, I need it to tell me why and what I haven't done right. Um, it might be, <coughs> it can't be earlier on, can it? Because I wouldn't have got past the... Okay, well, we know that's working. I can actually move that. Crankshaft, crank, the crankshaft is all moving now. Well, I would have thought that the that the program would have known when all bolts. I mean, look when I did all the all the other bolts. I put I put them all on and I just went tick 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 tick. I attached them all and then I tightened each one, you know. So was it 55? Oh shoot. Uh find out. That might be my issue then which is why I was told to concentrate. No, 50. 50, I did it right, but it's not working. Okay, well look, it's early access. To me, that's done. Complete. Oh, shit. Why is there a bolt there? Why didn't you tell... Guys, where'd that come from? That wasn't from my... That's just been left over. That's got nothing to do with me. All my bolts were on. Oh, yes. That's got nothing to do with me. That was, that's, nope, nope, I'm not having it. Now, I'm trying to remember how I got this. When I was in VR, there we go. Check this out, guys. You can raise it as high as you, as high as you need, really. And then in VR, imagine what it's like just walking under here in VR and just inspecting all of these parts. Like, you know, I, w I was trying to think, how do I get the oil drain pan thing off? I didn't realize I had this thing at the time. Um, <laughs> let's take it off. Uh, still getting used to the buttons here. Uh, we want to loosen. Oh, crap. Oh, he's got coolant in the oil. He's got coolant in the oil, guys. Look at the colour of that. Actually, no, it just looks like clear oil. It's just because of my um, my headlight. I should have put the pan down, but... Crap. 
Let's see if we can drop the car and put some oil in. I don't know where to get the oil from. I maybe have to shop for some. Let's see if we can do that. So, oh God, how much oil? Right. Unpocket the thing. No, not you. You go away. Give me the nut. There it is. 30. 30, 30, 30, 30. 30 newton meters. I should have remembered that because I knew that. Okay, talky. Oops. Go again, please. Oh, it's crashed. Guys. It's crashed. No, oh, come on. A menu came up and then I couldn't cancel the damn thing and now the game's gone up the cracker. <sighs> Unbelievable. What if it hasn't saved any of that progress? I wanted to drop the car down, open the bonnet, order some oil and pour the oil in. That was my next thing. Look at those parts though, where um, on the all those metal parts where the suspension uh, links with all the welds and everything, it looks really good. This game has definitely oh no, oh, we're going again. Awesome. Right, so to bring this down, you just grab and you pull it. Is that all my spillage? Not something you want to ask every day. Oh, can we open the bonnet? <laughs> I guess we can. Ah. Is it open or off? It's a catfish hood. What the hell is a catfish hood? Well, it's one that comes off really easy. Is this as low as the car goes? It can't be. Come on. Get down. I'm not bloody Stephen Merchant. Thank you. Okay. Can you imagine? guys putting all of this together uh how do i it's gone under the car this is where you'd be swearing hey bernats how are you doing my man it's gone under the bloody car and of course you can't magnetize it Jeez, or can you? Yeah, you can. It's just a general. It's not a magnet for metal. It's a. It's a. It's a magnet for any parts that. Uh, yeah, that are loose. Right. I think we need to order some oil. So, let's see if we can do that. Can we shop? I don't even know if you can or not. Players race team. No, that's a different thing. That's shop as in workshop, I think. How do you add oil? I don't know if I can. Just like off the top of my back. Oh, I mean off my back like that. Hello, helper bot. Hey. What's...
I don't know what the I don't know what he's for, and this is what. Rims. What's this? Oh, there's a metal. I don't know what it's for. Anyone know what this is, guys? I guess they're not going to let me order any parts then. I say that. Castrol Edge has to be, right? That's what I use. So it's <laughs> we'll have, uh, we're going to order two of those then, I think. Complete the purchase. <laughs> I love it. I love it. The thing is, I don't know how much oil's in the car, and I don't know how much more to put in. Where's the dipstick? There. I couldn't see it for looking. Well, okay, I'm I'm gonna go. It's, there's nothing on it, but I'm I'm gonna assume that that is correct. <laughs> I'll, I'll grab here. Okay. Yes, Castle Edge. Good stuff, this. Of course, you have to take the cap off. Now, if it's anything like my car, I'm going to need two of these uh, four litre bottles. Oh, shoot. Oh, me funnel. I need me funnel. Get out. <sighs> Place it on the floor. Oh, give me strength. Right. Will you, can you not automatically sort of like just slide in? Okay. I hope I haven't wasted too much. Yes. Oh, crap. I'm just going to have to say that that's going in because it better be. I know graphically it doesn't look like it is, but it is. Because that funnel's filling up. I hope it doesn't fill up too much because Not quite sure how to move the castrol up and down. I'm going to put the whole lot in though. Okay. It looks like it's dripping off the thing, but. I wonder if we get to take this car up for a spin as well. All right. That's the oil done. So we can chuck this away. And let's check the oil level. And we are. Well, I may have overfilled it, and I don't know. Well, actually, it looks like... it. I can't tell it. Yeah, it's dry, isn't it? Three quarts? Jeez, my car takes seven. Uh, so is that... Well, I don't know. But there's enough oil in there to stop it from seizing up anyway. Oh shoot. 
It wasn't that much in. Ah, oh, what the hell. Go away. Oh, it, okay. So you know how to tighten it. Oh, shh. There goes the bloody bumper. Right, let's go for a drive. <laughs> I don't even know how you get the car off off the thing. No, that, that better go on. That will be really bad. So I've got I've got some oil here which I'll use for another job at some point. And No. Oh, no, 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 no. I want. I think that's it, really. What's in settings? VR. Awesome. Now you can adjust the pixel density. Smooth movement, toggle grab. No, it's you don't have like um, graphic settings where you can adjust the screen resolution and whatnot. It just detects that on its own, I think. Test car. Can we? The engine oil is overfilled. I knew it. But that dipstick looked like, like it wasn't dripping or anything. I mean, the car chassis is in a functional state. The following symptoms have been reported. The engine oil is overfilled. Yeah, as soon as it said three quarts, I kind of knew that I'd done that. And we're going to get bloody smoke coming out the exhaust for a while. So test car doesn't mean Oh, this is somebody else driving it. We don't get to drive it. I bet there's smoke coming out the exhaust. The tires are heat cycled out and the cars become difficult to drive and the engine oil is overfilled. I gained 5 XP and my next level is in 95. I've, got to, I've just got to keep following the tutorials because I'm certainly um, not at the level where I should be let loose on this vehicle yet. So this is age, right? So, or where age it was, right? So the more. The more it is, the worse it is. So yeah, these street tires on an eight inch rim, part menu, show part. Oh no, you don't need to show it to me on the car. I know where the wheel is. It needs rep it doesn't need repairing, it needs replacing. Oh, market for inspection and view details. Purchase a replacement, purchase a set of four. That's what I would do. Let's do it. Oh, they've had to come in two boxes now. So we have four new tires here, I, I assume. Or is it four new wheels? No, it's four new tires. Uh, okay. We might need to send these back. This is what happens when you order Chinese tires. They come in a Chinese puzzle. Awesome. And they drop this one off upside down. Honestly. Oh, these are going back. <laughs> oh, God. No. 
Don't tell me they're not going to come apart. I was just being funny. You gotta be kidding me. Use the force, Luke. Guys, I can't believe it. I mean, they're literally together. I've got to order them separately then. Four separate deliveries. I don't think you can turn the bottle on its side, though. Oh, the... What a waste of money this is. Right, where's the uh, send it back option? I, th I honestly thought this was just a stupid graphic thing and you could just pull one off the other. Maybe that's what this is. It's a tire and linker and it pulls one off the other. Wait a minute. An eight inch wheel. Eight inches. I think you mean 18, surely. Yeah. Eight inch wheel. Eight? I've seen supermarket trolleys with more than that. Oh, guys. They sent the tires linked. And I can't get them apart. Chinese puzzle. <sighs> Bloody hell. So... <laughs> you see, it doesn't... I can't move it with the magnet, guys. This is not anything to do with me. It's a bug. And how annoying that is. Um... So, the next step, if I was going to go any further, would be to go back in tutorials and this one. Installing the oil... Oh, that will be on the same engine, I would imagine. Install the oil pickup tube with its gasket onto the oil pump. That's a quick Install job. Install the front and rear oil pan seals into their location. Oh, they've the put the clutch on. The rear main seal holder. And the starter Finally, motor. Install the windage tray onto the engine block. Castrol oil filter, by the looks of it. Oh man, you've got to do all the bits as well, eh? Look at all this. He <laughs> got the little pickup thing and the oil drain bolt, which is how you would expect it to look. Oil cooler, oil filter, and the uh, main part, the oil pan there. Dipstick tube. Which is a rather long dipstick tube for a rather short dipstick. Awesome. And we have to do install the old pan dipstick cooler oil filter. Yeah. It is early access, yes, and I'm looking I will certainly be looking forward to updates um with this because I I, I like it. You know, it's it's an I'm dying to see what this does. You may want to quit without saving. So this is going to completely devastate my showroom, I would imagine. And I have to start again. What does this do? I bet it's I bet it's a bluff. I bet it doesn't do anything. You may want to quit without saving. Can I quit and save and then do it? Progress is not saved during renting, racing or tutorials. So this is like the progress isn't saved during a tutorial. An autosave occurs prior to these. Unsaved playtime, 1 minute 54 seconds. You realize if I if this does do something naughty, then everything I've done today I'll have to do again. But I get to do it in VR. Should we press it? 
five, four, oh, shoot. three, two. No, seven. don't. Oh, my engine's okay. It just, the, the force just blew the bits across the table. Had I had a car there, though, it would have destroyed the car. Gotcha. Okay. Right then. All right then. So that is Wrench. The game's been out just over a year now. And, uh, oh yeah, I look forward to more progress on it. I think it looks really good. So yeah, there we go. I'm going to leave that there. And thank you for watching my second stream. And I'll be back. I'm, I'm debating whether to do a, a stream every day just for a week. But I don't know if I can actually stand that. Um, but yeah, I'll see you next time whenever that may be. Have a good evening, afternoon or morning, wherever you are. And uh, I, yeah, I enjoyed that. It was fun. I, it was. It was a good few laughs. So. <laughs> right. Thank you, guys. And I wish you all well. Bye-bye.